So, Hannah D. asks, I'd like to know how you define mysticism in the context of the Orthodox tradition. Should I read the rest of this? No, mysticism. Let, let me talk about mysticism because I think that um, uh, one of the things that Orthodoxy has preserved by comparison to uh, Roman Catholicism as well as uh, especially the Protestants because Roman Catholicism may have some mystical aspects to it, but Roman Catholicism was completely thrown away uh, in the sense of... Um, Protestantism. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. Protestantism has completely thrown it away by becoming very rationalistic um, and becoming very... Uh, they focused on the word. They focused on knowledge. They focused on understanding. And um, that is not enough in the relationship with God because God is beyond our comprehension. And this is where mysticism comes in, where... What is mysticism? Is the, is the way we know that God is present and that God exists without necessarily understanding it. For example, we call the sacraments in the Orthodox Church, we call them mysteries, mysteria, where the mystical aspect is focused on or is, is uh, uh, shown as, as being the aspect of, the, of those sacraments, of those, of those events. What is a sacrament, which includes Holy Communion and, and the Eucharist, it includes, uh, say, the blessing of the water, it includes um, uh, confession, it includes all the sacraments that we know, and, and sacraments that, that people don't think they're sacraments because uh, sometimes we focus on seven, but the Orthodox Church never uh, limited the sacraments to seven. Uh, because even the funeral, which is only given to Orthodox Christians, is a sacrament. Even, of course, the great uh, blessing of the water for Epiphany, uh, torture of monks and nuns, all these are sacraments. So, in a sacrament, God is present in a mystical way that our uh, senses cannot perceive. We can only know through our heart. We can only know through uh, Him touching us in a special way uh, as He is present to change say, the bread and the wine and make it the body and blood of Christ, to change the water and make it holy water, to change this person and make them a priest in the sacrament of ordination, to change a person, make them a monk or a nun in the sacrament of the uh, kura, the, the torture of the monastics. So mysticism is really at the center of uh, the understanding of who we are and who God is, because God is present in a mystical way throughout our lives. And we emphasize that. Um, I think a, a good book to read, which gives in the conversations with uh, uh, the monk, uh, whose name is Maximus in that book, um, the author of the book, he is asking questions and he's getting answers from the monk. Uh, the book of, uh, called The Mountain of Silence. In that book, you will see the mystical aspects of the church as the monk Maximus describes them. And that is a great book to read for anyone, especially coming from the Protestant world, who wants to understand mysticism in the Orthodox Church. That monk gives a great description of the mystical aspects of Christianity, of Orthodox Christianity, which the others have lost to a, to a great extent.